Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm gonna show you my garden. Let's go. Here we're just coming into the garden. Here we have pomegranate tree. It's blooming right now. Here we have a chicken coop. You can enter it from the garden. Yeah. That's their little house. That's chicken. They can go through this way to the yard outside. Okay, here I have some peppers growing. They're still kind of little, but if you can see, there's a little flower starting to bloom. There's more. Here on this row I have tomatoes. These are big boy kind. They're kind of fat ones. And some of them are starting to bloom. Here, they, here it is. Yeah. So here's my tomatoes. Here's my cucumbers. I seed them from the seeds right here. I think like two or three weeks ago. Probably three weeks ago. So these three rows of cucumbers. I'm doing more cucumbers this year than in the year before and less tomatoes because part of it because tomato plants were too expensive kinda. So I decided to have more cucumbers because cucumbers I can start from seeds and tomatoes I can't really do it from seeds unless I plant them in the house. So here's some more tomatoes. I only have 18 tomatoes this year, but they're so spread apart and um, because they're gonna grow huge. This cucumbers again, just because on this row I had tomatoes last year, that's why I don't want to plant tomatoes here anymore. I try to have um, move them around so I don't have the same thing on the same place every year. Here I have my third row of tomatoes. Here they are. This one is so pretty. Big and blooming. And here I have some um, some melons on here. Some of them, some kinds came out good, some of them didn't go, but this one also looks like old seeds came out. Yeah, this one didn't come out, so I'm I guess I'm gonna have to plant something else here instead. Here I planted some corn and um, peas from the seeds. Here I have watermelons. Here, see I had watermelons, but it looks like something ate it. So, here I have some squash. And um, here Gabby planted some flowers and um, I don't know if they're gonna ever come out. <laughs> so here we have some grapes in the garden. Uh, we also have more grapes in the other part of the yard but these, my husband planted them in the garden because he ran out of space to plant them. So. Yeah, my husband takes care of the grapes I, and the trees, so I just do the other plants. Oh, and here I planted some pumpkin. And yeah, there's too much grass around it. Yeah, I always have to fight with these weeds. It's like, oh, and I don't want to spray any chemicals because, you know, I can buy food with chemicals in the store for really cheap at the grocery store and if I take time and effort of actually growing something I want it to be as organic as possible so here is my garden um, here in the shade I planted some um, onions pieces I had some overgrown garlic too and I planted it here so if it grows it grows if it doesn't it doesn't it usually grows only for like one month 
the green parts of it and then it dies because it gets too hot. So here I got some onion. Here's some more onion. So yeah, more grapes. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have lots of grapes this year. I also wanted to let you know guys that this year I spent $16 on the plants and $10 on the seeds but I didn't use up all the seeds yet I still have more cucumber seeds because I'm planning to plant some new ones when these are gonna become like kinda old I'm gonna replace them probably in July I'm gonna replace those and I did not spend anything on the soil because I just use kinda looks gross now but I just use my um, chickens, you know, the waste from the chicken coop, mix it with the soil, and you see this green thing is these are from thing is from the tree that's falling in there. So I just dump it in there and let it rot, and then mix it, and the rain waters it, and and if there's no rain, I can always add some water to it, and yeah, that's how I get my soil for almost for free. Mm -hmm. She loves the grape leaves. I break off the branches that don't have any grapes on them and we feed it to the goat because chickens don't want to eat it anymore. <laughs> and my goat loves them. Here. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Oh. I stuck it to the fence because if I put it on the ground, she wouldn't eat it from the ground. She's so picky. She thinks they grow on the fence. Busy catching bugs. I hope you guys enjoyed my garden tour and leave any comments or questions down below. Tell me if you have a garden because I want to know. And don't forget to subscribe and bye. Have a nice day.